Uh, we decided to do that because we don't have any other place to call our country than this one that we have, Nigeria. You know, we can always work together as a people. You know, we have done this before in Lagos some years back. And you know, by the time we don't put us together to protect our national assets, we have lecturers strike all over the places because of payment, maybe because of this vandalism, uh, vandalism all over the places. So while we are doing this together in conjunction with the Nigeria security agent, is to see that the production will come up and at the end of the day, we have enough money to take care of all aspects of uh, government, both teachers, the ministries, and every, everywhere. You know, in every country, the maritime sector actually control the nation economy. The one of Nigeria, now, you know, everybody has free access to load our crude oil and go out without even proper monitoring. You know, under normal circumstances, it is the duty of NIMASA MPA to regulate. Outside those two agencies, you know, we have Nigeria Navy, Chevron, and all that are working. You know, there was no even proper record. So even if our people, the local people, happen to maybe temper with the lines, they would now capitalize on that one to now steal the crude oil from the country. That is why we are saying that the local communities will now put us together with the oil companies, Nigeria Navy, and everybody to see that. Maybe if somebody is coming inside this house to take away maybe this cooler, yeah, another person will come again to pick the television. Maybe the person here will take only cooler, not. The outsider will come and maybe take everything. Then they will now report that, no, it, uh, it is the person that the owner of the house that took both the television and everything together. That is the more reason why we are now doing everything within our powers. Because if we are not careful before 2023, there will be no money to even run the country called Nigeria. And you know that when you are coming from Wari, you see security as boot all over the places. If you look at the old setting, where this illegal bunkering is taking place, if you have one a uh, Navy gun boot, one Army gun boot, the extreme end is where the real bunkering is taking place. Though we are people from River Rhine, we are the owners of these places. <coughs> so there is no way you can come in to this place maybe without coming along with Paul. So even if you are coming to maybe take everything here, Paul as the owner of the boot that uh, 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 transport you from Wari to this place, you will now say, no, I didn't do anything, no, it was Paul. But meanwhile, you are the highest beneficiary. So what we are saying, even at the security level, <coughs> we have top security men, local ones that are deeply involved. Really? Yes, that are trying to bring down this country called Nigeria. So we are ready. And we are still appealing to everybody that we need to do everything within our powers. Because if you see, Escrava, several tank farm is here now, Fokedus. We have security personnel all over the places. Though we have good ones. Yeah. Even in the process of interacting with our people, they are now saying that with what they are doing, in some areas, they have these illegal bunkering camps owned by some Navy, Army, civil defense, police. It is only the SS that are not mentioned yet. And we have the evidence. So what I'm even using this medium, appealing to the security agency, especially the good ones, because we don't have any other place to call our country. This is the only country we have. So they should talk to their people that are being deployed to this side, this part of the country. Let's work together. You know, we don't have anything to enforce the law. We are going to provide the intelligence. Then they are the ones to implement. So we need their cooperation. A lot of them are not happy when my name was mentioned because I actually know the in and out of this country. Lagos, Rand, Calabar, Aquaibom to Esclavos. 
So if we are working together as a team, by the grace of God, in another few weeks, you will see that the production will now shoot up. Of contradiction. You know, even yourself, you know that even from beginning, everybody know my position. When I see that my people are oppressed wrongly, yeah. I will always come out to say the truth. And you know, if anybody happens to say the truth, and you are not close with the government, the case will turn the other way around. As I am here, you know, I have won all my court cases. I have won all the court cases. We followed due process because I was accused wrongly. It's just political misunderstanding. But in spite of all that, I don't have any other place to call my country than Nigeria. You love this country. Yes. So I will do everything within my powers. Even before people even knew about Nimasa in Lagos, you know, we did everything. We put us together with some key players. Some of the papers that are flying, it was our group that worked to even trace our product that was stolen from this country to US and some other countries. The papers that are flying within the villa. We brought out the documents. So everybody know that. And when we actually embark on that project, a lot of high caliber people were tossed. So they now turned around the whole thing, especially from Lagos, <laughs> uh, which uh, you are aware I'm, of some of I'm the not things. The uh, of Lagos uh, uh, <laughs> so I know what you mean, sir. Uh, 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 and you know, that is where, you know, the whole of our problem came from. So we want to do everything, and you know the level of this illegal bunkering, especially this one called coal fire, destroying our environment. So we want to do everything within our powers, with the press people, security men, and everybody to see that we reduce it to the rest minimum. You know, because now you are here in Opruza. You know, we are all human beings. There is no any spirit here. But what we are saying is that. A lot of people are now seeing these illegal activities as their right. Yeah. Uh, so we are now talking to them not to get the contract, stay in Abuja or Lagos, just to pay some few people, then leave the rest out. Because if you want to actually pull them out, when you guys came in, we were having a meeting with the women mm. that are benefiting small, small yeah. from the from business. The job, yeah. So we told them that, no, what people are doing is not right. We are going to provide jobs. Though we cannot provide jobs to everybody, but yeah. the little we can provide. So that let's pull out the yes, yeah, yeah, let's people. work together. And if the security people are sincere, few of them are sincere. They are very, very ready to work with us. But many of them are involved mm. in this bunkering. You know, there is no way you can load a vessel without settling the security that are within that environment. They will now take you around now. When people are working, you see one gun boat here, one gun boat here, this is another gun boat. People are doing loading, uh, they are, no, load, uh, loading crude oil. Can they do that without settling the people that are here? Not possible. So our appeal is to the security agents that are working in this area, that if we are not careful, at the end, everybody will suffer. Not only the people from this area. Once people cannot pay salary, our schools have been a strike now for so many months. You can, you can only pay teachers when you have money. Revenue. It is only a few people that can send their children out of this country to school in other places. What about the ones that cannot send their children out of the country? So this thing, we need to work together as a team. And we are ready on our own part. If we have that cooperation from the security agency, I think we don't even have any problem. In two, three, four weeks' time, we are going to restore the production back to the way it was before. A lot of people are now running Elta Scatter because they know that there is nothing in this country concerning the River Rhine that I don't know. The people in Imu, River State, 
we are all brothers and friends. So once we dis discuss and agree, and that is the more reason why our people in River State, maybe they are, they, they are going to start any moment from now. Once they are fully engaged, and then we will now still call the security people to call their people to order. Mm. Once that is done, then we are good to go. And if they fail to comply, I think in no distant time, I will ask them to bring the people back. Because I have a comprehensive list. Of those who are involved? Yes. And all of them know that. Hmm. By virtue of my position, you know I will not be afraid of anybody. You know me. That was when you guys came last time. Talking uh, 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 <laughs> when I said, no, this is our area. I was in Abuja. Yes, I went to NSC, me. then I went me. to IG. And that what they are doing here is not right. What I am saying is that we are ready, and everybody knows that, who wants our fair share. Yeah. It is only when the asset is protected that we can get our share, especially now that they are working on the PIA. Yeah. If there is no production, how do we get our own 3%? All our communities from here to River State are quiet, but we are ready to work. The little challenge is the security people. Not all, though, but a lot of key players are involved mm. in this illegal bunkering. But this time around, we'll do everything within our powers. If anybody wants to try to spoil the name of our region to erase himself, we are going to bring them out. That is the truth. So we are appealing to the top security hierarchy to talk to their people that are here on ground, and even some of them that are there in Abuja and Lagos that are controlling, that enough is enough. No more. Our people cannot even take a drop of oil without the help of security man, which you know, nobody can even take a drum of crude oil out from any place without the help of one security man or two people. So what are we saying? How are you going to get those guys out of that business they've known for a long time? And that's one. Two would be, any in any of these creek areas where these operations are going on, and you're trying to appeal to whoever that is the, maybe the landlord of that area, so to speak, and the pose uh, and, 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 and the, as opposition, how would you react to that? We will not even have any opposition. Even this campaign you are talking about, it is even this security people that are even inciting our people that know you need to do uh, 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 serious things to see that Tompolo will not come and work in this area. If not, we know ourselves, we understand ourselves. We have been surviving without this work. This area, we have been surviving without this work. So a lot of these things that people are seeing have even uh, been doctored by security people that if they are coming to your area, Fight. tell them this one, tell them this one, that no, we are surviving with this and all that. We have gotten a lot of things from federal government now that have been even mismanaged by our own people. Yeah. But what we are saying, if we can be able to work together to maybe bring up the production, we will tell them our 13%. Niger Delta Ministry, yeah. NDDC, and other sister agency to give us what is due to our people. But you want to do this first as a justification for that? Yes. So everybody in this region, we are ready. Everybody is ready. All these people, all these things that they are saying here and there are not true stories. You know, we can have some little argument because of sharing formula and all that. Aside that, we don't even have any problem. Another thing before, you know some of these oil companies, they are even capitalizing on these small, small illegal activities to declare, uh, to declare what is not even right. Yeah. So we are going to put all these things right. And that is the more reason why the fight is tough. Because uh, if somebody is maybe taking uh, uh, 2,000 barrels, at the end they will declare 200. And at the end, they will not say oil theft. And these are the people that are not even sponsoring 
people to fight against Tompolo. But this region is our region. We'll do everything by the grace of God, with the help of all of you and other media houses to see that we'll do the right thing to protect our you country. You sound very confident and determined to get this job done. You know I am a confident man right from time. When you even, uh, 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 you know, uh, we have been together. Yes, yes. Uh, when I went to Prozai, I said no. And then you even know the right thing. Yeah. This is our area. Yeah. Opruza is the traditional headquarters of Brahmatu Kingdom. We are the landlords. We don't talk about court papers. We are the original owners of this place. Without being told, you, you, even if you look from what you are seeing, you understand. I am not a king. Our king is there. You understand? So if you are coming to do anything here, you know, I gave part of the contract to my younger brother, Ayiri. Yeah. We are brothers. Maternally is from this side. Yeah, I know. He's my brother. He's my younger brother. There is nothing to, to, to argue. But what we are saying, we are the owners of this place. I am very, very confident. And we can go into anywhere to work. Why I am like this is because I am on ground. I don't have problem with anybody. I can work with anybody. Even if you post us to Lagos, Abuja, we will do the work the way we are supposed to do it. It is only when you are after collecting small, small bribe, telling lies, that you are afraid of people. Once you are doing the right thing, there is nothing to fear about. We are doing all these things to save our country from collapsing. If not, people that are camp uh, campaigning here and there, 2023, they will not have anything to run this country. But at the end, they will not shift the blame to our people. Meanwhile, the real perpetrators are there in Abuja and Lagos. That is my concern. So I will always stand with my people to defend the interests of our people. I think by the grace of God, nobody can do anything without the help of God. Yeah. By the grace of God, I think we are going to do our best so that our president and NMPC will see that the work was given to the right people.